Welcome to the Jackal of Truth. My name is TJ Gray, and with me, as always, is my brother, the Jackal. <laughs> it's November. October is finally over, which means uh, we won't be able to talk about breast cancer, which is a very, very, very good thing uh, on this show. It's not a good thing, man. <laughs> Go, cancer. Go. Uh, for November, and you'll notice over the next couple of weeks, we're doing, um, we're participating in No Shave November. Um, the Jackal kind of already participates in that. He never Pretty shaves. much. Pretty much. Um, I, I, I shave. I just like it, you know, like this. But it's certainly a new look for me. Um, we'll see how far we can grow it out. I don't really grow facial hair well, but we'll do it. It's fun. <laughs> Our friend Ben, he, he asked us to do it, so it'll be fun. Oh, my All God. All right, so as you uh, may or may not know, the re there, there were elections Tuesday. I didn't really catch it. Did, did we do good, the Democrats? Did we do good? Uh, no, we didn't do good. Oh. Our ships sink bottom. I don't know what that means. A ship went in the fucking water, <laughs> and we all fucking died. That's what that means. We got, we got fucked up the ass very slowly. We'll talk about the elections in a minute. I do want to talk about first is the uh, John Stewart rally, which was Saturday. Um, it was awesome. I watched all three hours. It was uh, really entertaining. It was fun if you if you turn on like other channels to see how they were covering the rally because they really didn't know what how to you know what to say it was about. So you like had CNN and they were like, oh, it's a rally about restoring sanity and. Fox somehow tried to make it about Muslims or gay people. Um, and then I saw John Legend, so I thought they might have been right about gay people, but uh, it wasn't. It wasn't about gays. Um, but no, it was a lot of fun. It was uh, basically like a, a, a long version of the, the show, daily show you see every night. Yeah. But towards the end, it got serious. Um, John Stewart talked about you know voting with sanity, and then on Tuesday, absolutely no one listened to him. Um, the Republicans trounced the, the Democrats. Uh, they took over the the House, we kept the Senate, um, which doesn't really mean anything. And of course, everyone's freaking out. <laughs> um, my dad's really happy. I don't know, he's a, he's a conservative. He's rubbing in my face. Um, I'm not freaking out. I'm pretty calm about it. I'll talk about it later why. But um, let's talk about why the Republicans won. The Republicans won because they ran as a unit, as together. And the Democrats definitely don't do that. So even though the Republicans are crazy, uh, they, they still run pretty consistent. You fall asleep over there, Jacko? <laughs> now listen, the Republicans, they're, they, they're, huh? committed, they're committed to cutting spending. They're committed to, to doing a lot of things. And I, you know, if they, they stick to those things, they'll do well. They'll do well in the next presidential election. But my feeling is they're not going to stick to those things. Much like Obama promised oh. too much and then couldn't come... <sighs> much like Obama promised too much and then couldn't come through on it, um, the Republicans will, will probably do the same thing. You know what surprised me, though? Even the gay voters voted for Republicans. How are you gay and vote for a Republican? It makes no sense whatsoever. I don't know, man. That's, that's really fucked up. Next thing, black people are going to be voting for Republicans. Uh, it's absolutely crazy. <laughs> um, all right, so we'll talk much later. The truth be told will be about um, the elections. Please stick around. I know it's a little bit serious, but I promise to make it funny. Um, yeah, and that's all I got for the elections, right? I guess so. That's all we got. All right, when we come back, we're going to talk about a whole bunch of crazy things. We'll talk about um, a young man turning into an old man and flying to Canada. We'll talk about a uh, Disney Channel star losing her mind. And we'll talk about a bombing in Pakistan. So that's a nice mixed bag of topics. And the jackal will, will not fall asleep, I promise. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, okay, so earlier today we want this is a serious news story, Bob. So try not to act like a serious news story. Um, earlier today there was two bombings in Pakistan. Um, it was Al Qaeda Taliban. They are targeting mosques, so just simple peace loving practicing Islam's, and seventy worshippers were killed. Now the reason I pulled the story up is because it's important to denote. The difference when when you hear people that say you know all Muslims are terrorists, I like Fox News, or if you hear people that say, you know, um, they're all fighting Americans, they're fighting Christianity, it's not true. Al Qaeda will fight anyone that disagrees with them, and that includes moderate uh, Muslims. So, especially when you talk about the cultural center that was in New York City, and people were like, well, these are the people that bombed us. It's 
literally, and I hate using this word, it's retarded to think that. Um, oh, CJ, come on. Yeah, it's, but no, it's, it's no easy to say that, man. No. It is. It's, it's absolutely retarded, and it, I'm pretty fed up with it. And it, this should go to show anyone who has a, a brain, although they probably wouldn't believe in that hype anyway, but have a brain. They're not fighting. Not all Islams are fighting all Christians. Not all, all, all Muslim people are fighting Americans. Exactly. You know, not everyone's the same, you know. Right. Not every Muslim is a terrorist. Not every Muslim is trying to kill us. You know, they're, they're you know, nice people, you know. They're just like you and I. Just like us, exactly. Right. But over what, 70 people died? 70 people, right. Yes. So, and then this will point towards, this should point towards how to separate radical Islam from regular peace-loving, practicing normal Islam. I wonder how many people we kill over, you know, in Iraq and everything. That's for a different show. <laughs> All right, let's move on to uh, Disney, oddly enough. So Demi Lovato, she's in rehab. Uh, she left the Jonas tour Monday night, and no one's really sure why. So it's been, it's been reported that it's not drugs and alcohol. Um, there was a cutting rumor that she cut herself, whatever. Her dad came out and said that that's absolutely false. And there's no real evidence. I hope it's true. I hope. I hope it is. Oh, my God. Kill, yo, sweetheart, kill yourself. Come on. Demi, don't listen. If you're going to do it, do it the right way. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Why are you even pretending Demi Lovato's watching this? <laughs> but, I don't um, know. But if she is, if you're going to kill yourself, you shouldn't take you like three times to try to kill yourself. Listen, she I have... get it the first time, sweetheart. It's not hard. It's not difficult. I'm not sure who Demi Lovato is, but I've been Wait, wait, wait. What show is she on, T? Sunny with a Chance. How the fuck do you know that? Because it's in the You song. know. You said that before. Before we came on air, you said that show before. Yeah, because uh, I read the article. Yeah, that's... Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's also in something called Camp Rock, which was the Jonas Brothers. And I did see that. I hate on, them. I hate I've them. seen that on like TV and stuff. So uh, I've seen that on TV, but right. I haven't actually watched it. But I think it's... The latest stupid. rumor is that it's an eating disorder. Um, which is pretty common. There's a lot of pressure and um, with stars to look to look great. She's going through. You know what? I'm looking at right now. You could lose a little, a little more weight. Oh you could. God. That's a good thing to tell her. If she's going through. <laughs> but um, no, Demi. We hope you get better soon. Um, I don't hope she gets better. Don't put me. Don't put we in with me. I don't hope she gets better. You know, supposedly what uh, Serena Gomez visited her or whatever. First of all. I don't get that stupid bitch either. I don't think she's that good. I don't get these shows. I don't get any of these shows at all. I really don't. But, uh, no, I hope you don't get better. Hope, you know what? When no one's looking, take your blanket, get a light, tie it up, and kill you, hang yourself that way. <laughs> you know? Just do it when no one's in there. Ridiculous. <laughs> we hope you get better, Demi. All right, all right, all right. Um, all right, so this is the other crazy story uh, from this week. So... There was a flight from Hong Kong to Vancouver, um, and on that flight was apparently an, an older gentleman. Um, he boarded the plane or whatever. Well, midway through the flight, that older Caucasian gentleman turned into a young Hong Kong citizen um, in the bathroom, basically. So this is how the story goes. Some kid, 20, I think he's like young 20s, mid 20s. We don't know a lot about him because they haven't released information. Um, but he, he basically wore a Halloween mask. And we'll show you the picture in a minute. But uh, he basically wore a Halloween mask, got on the plane. Nobody asked him any questions. They just let him get on. And he flew to Canada. Um, so it's absolutely crazy. He's claimed asylum now. So they're not releasing any um, information. But we do have some leaked pictures. Um, so let's look at the picture real quick. And then we'll get the jackals. Uh, the view on exactly what, what was going on here. So here's the picture. So what do you think of that, Jackal? Um, I give him a lot of credit. You know, Jay was, first of all, I don't, I don't know why you're doing this. Maybe you're running from something or whatever. You're running from someone, something, the law or whatever. But no one asked him at all, you know, what are you doing or anything? He's not wearing gloves or anything. So what you see? That's, that's the best part. He didn't wear gloves. He so just... you see a a white old man with Asian hands. <laughs> and you what know, do Asian hands look like? You know uh, what? Do I have Asian hands? No. What you know of, what, what? You know what? No. Wait, 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 what culture hands do I have, Jackal? Fat ass. Right. Now, um, 
you know what would be funny? We went in the bathroom and a black guy came out. Oh my god, people would have went nuts. People would have jumped down and everything. Probably chucked them off the plane and everything. Now that would have been even funnier. What would, imagine how you're sitting there in the airplane. Mind your own business, you know. You know, you have an old fucking fart next to you, you know, and all of a sudden you see the uh, white guy go in there. All of a sudden he comes out black. You're like, whoa, <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Now, uh -huh. presumably he's not a Canadian citizen, so he, you know, even if he spoke English or French, uh, depending on whether, I think it flew into Vancouver, so we'll say English. But um, presumably he, he didn't speak English. So how, did no one ask him a question the entire I know. flight? No one asked him, like, oh, how are you doing to, oh, oh. <laughs> you know, no one's asking him anything. It's like no one figures this out at all. This shows how stupid people are. Right. It's, uh, he had a boarding pass of some older white guys. So he's going to get arrested either way. That's right. He claimed the asylum. Deal. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Have fun in know. prison. Have fun in prison with a white guy probably raping you. Or the white guy who's raping will take off a mask. He'll be a black guy. <laughs> yeah, be a black guy. Maybe. All right. Um, all right. So those are all the interesting stories I found for this week. Uh, when we come back, we'll talk about Sparky Anderson, uh, which will be very bad. It's um, very sad news in the baseball uh, All right, world. sports, when we come back. We'll see you in a minute. Let me go to rehab. I 